Hello there, darlings. Welcome to the Clockwork Cabaret. They are old. They are not hip. They are the weird aunties that you didn't know you needed or wanted. And now, for a friendly reminder, this show is for adults. That darling DJ duo, Emma Davenport and Lady Attercop, drink cocktails, have potty mouths, and at least one of them was raised by wolves. <laughs> Clockwork Cabaret! Hooray! I am Emmett Davenport. And I am Lady Adderkoff. And we are actually in the same room. (laughs) We're in a physical location together. It's so weird. (laughs) It's dusty. There's some old cokes in here. There's weird old notes that I have no idea what they meant. Um, Notes from our former selves. Yeah. Yeah. And we have transcended past the need to know that... Uh, moose are the true power of the pro- proletariat, apparently. That, or maybe it was in us all along. Maybe the moose was in us all along. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know why we went. I made a note about a circus. Yep. These are relics from a forgotten time. <laughs> a, for- a long forgotten past. 14 months ago, at least. Oh my god, is oh, it so it must have. Long? I might have been from our Christmas episode. Because that sounds I, like it could be from our Christmas episode. Like, oh yeah, oh. from from uh, from 2019. Oh, because I we were so young back then. We were so innocent. <laughs> because we had I, no idea. I believe it was a moose a moose centric episode. A moose centric Christmas I, episode. That does sound like us. So I think that oh. might have been what it was. What that might have pertained to, but I don't know. It could could be. Might not be. I do remember our wild optimism that 2020 was going to be a good year because it was like a two nat 20s and oh, how yeah. wildly unfounded that optimism will turned out to I be. I feel like maybe we should never, ever be hopeful <laughs> or optimistic. That's what I we've f- learned. I feel like if any lesson, if any lesson has been drilled into my brain, it has been don't, don't, don't be optimistic. Hope is a mistake. Yeah. It's a trap. It is. It is. It truly is. And that, you know, if something good does happen. Don't trust it. Yeah. <laughs> something else Something else is just going to come around moments later and destroy that, that hope. So just, you know. Yeah. Keep it dour. Yes. Just Keep it Scottish. Even, yeah. Even when you're happy. Don't. It, it, just showing that you're happy around others is an invitation for them to take you down a peg. Just that when, instead of telling people that you love them, just say, I never liked you. <laughs> and just leave it at that. Be like my great grandmother. Actually, don't. Don't no. be like my great grandmother. <laughs> she was a dour, hateful old woman <laughs> who slapped relatives instead of hugging them. So don't, like, like maybe, okay. no. maybe no. No, no. no. There's got to be a good, happy balance between... And, and we have not been around other... Like, I'm a little giddy about being around another person. Like, I'm like, whoo, a human in my vicinity. Hi, what's up? Ah, oh no, I was not good at peopling before. Um, It could be the year-old whiskey we were drinking. It could be the year-old whiskey that we are consuming at uh, currently 11, 10, 51 in the morning. We're making good life choices. <laughs> hey, I've been awake since 4.45 a.m. I've so. not. I've been awake since 7 a.m. Yes. Uh, so. And we're consuming year-old whiskey with year-old Coke and it's... trying to remember how to human. Yes. <laughs> Instead of like the feral goblins we've become. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, I feel like I was the goblin that was sent out into the world <laughs> to... to, to to 
navigate through all of the other goblin goblins that have been sent say, out into the world. You were the one that we sent out to the village to get supplies. Yes. You, you go speak to the human. Yes, I went out. Poor Rupert was left hiding in, in the... Hiding in the underground home, in the hovel. <laughs> I, I did beauty school online for more than a year, so hey. It's just, it's weird. It's weird. It's all very weird. I know. But I have to say, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Not on a screen. I know. There's no weird delay after you talk. Where I'm like, is she going to say another thing? Because I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. It's wonderful. I this Listen is, to this. It's listen giddy. To this back and forth. I know. It's lovely. There's no weird pause. I'm not going to have to, like, go through and clip all of the silent spots within our talking <laughs> that I have to do every time, which is exhausting. We're going to talk over each other again. <gasps> oh! oh, it's just oh. bad what? radio etiquette. Oh! So it makes me giddy. I'm so excited. I kind of am. I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind. I'm like, give me more year old bourbon and another flat coke. I'm on board. This is great. <laughs> it's been 14 months. Oh my god. The gosh. only person I've had to speak to is Rupert, and occasionally one of the other people who work at the cafe when I'm baking, and I just basically open my mouth and just. Let whatever nonsense spills out because I don't know how to human anymore. I know. I, I I've been trying for a year <laughs> through Matt. I've never I never realized how much of my uh, self expression comes through weird faces. Yes. And I have been muzzled for a year. Like not muzzled. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah. Let's not use That's that terminology not... because muffled, 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 Bullshit. hidden. Yes. Like I I have lost a, a good chunk of the way that I have I. Uh, express yourself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Express myself, and have had to turn to like mime, like exaggerated <laughs> body motions I, instead. I gesticulated wildly before. Now oh, it's just it's become. Just even, now it's, it's just a become, full body gesticulation. Yeah, yeah. Like, how can I express what I am feeling in a, in a interpretive dance? Because <laughs> I am wearing a mask, and I need to. And I need to let whoever who is six feet away know that what six I am feeling. Over there. Yes, allow me to Charlie Chaplin this bitch up. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> and I don't mean by marrying an eighteen-year-old girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pantomime. Uh, we're talking. <laughs> all your favorites were monsters. Anyway, <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right. I think I'm going to press a button. Oh, a physical actual button? I'm going to I actually know. press the button. Okay. I'm, I'm, Are you on, ready? Hold on. Are you ready? Let me, let me, let me, uh. Can you, can you I'm, handle it? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Pressing the button. You're listening to Mad Wasp Radio. So, uh, we did a whole bunch of music. We did. We, we, we drank stare, some questionable alcohol. We stared at each other. We sat in this room. I don't know what else to. I I am deeply amused by us discovering weird bottles of booze that have been in here for over a year, and that we no longer have any memory of what they might be. Well, and yet we still drank them, and yet we consumed them. <laughs> that... uh, because that is our brand. That is the <laughs> energy we bring to steampunk music and other music. Just to radio in general. General Gremlin Chaos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clockwork Cabaret. Gremlin, Gremlin chaos. chaos. Let's write that down so that later on, we in another this... two weeks, we won't understand what that note we'll have. A, we'll have a note that means nothing to us. It will Gremlin be a Chaos. Note. Yeah, we have, so we have all notes. kinds of notes here uh, that we didn't know how to interpret anymore because it's been a while. And we've had... Um, we saw, we mentioned, I believe you you try being proprietary with a moose, yeah, moose of the tree power of the proletariat, a note that just says circus, yeah, which is upsetting on many different levels. I'm I'm assuming uh, that maybe it was that was an idea for a theme for an episode. Yeah, you, maybe? Th- there's one thing we love: it's circuses and clowns, mostly to terrify other people. I mean, so I guess we're saying uh, Clockwork Cabaret, 
bringing that true gremlin energy. Gremlin, goblin. What do we feel? Gerblin. How do we feel? Um, I'm feeling more gremlin. Like I feel like we we would destroy a plane. Yeah, gremlin feeling, chaos energy. Yeah, grem. I feel like gremlins are more chaos energy. Don't feed us after midnight. It is true. Don't feed me after midnight. It's a bad. It's a bad thing. I'm old. It is not a. <laughs> It's not a pleasant. We can't eat that don't, late anymore. Don't put me in water. No, gosh, no, no not if I'm not idea. expecting it. No, no, I do float, but if it's <laughs> if it's the ocean, I will just be mad. So that's not a. See, I'm the opposite. I'll go in the ocean. I don't want to go into fresh water. Oh, see, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the ocean. I, well, I mean, we know how I feel about the yes. ocean. It cannot be trusted. Throw the Welsh into it. Throw fruit into it. It, it anything is questionable. a computer that angers you. Yes. Yeah. No. Anything. Anything really. that you wish to destroy, you throw in the ocean, uh, and should not be trusted. But I would rather be in the ocean than in fresh water. Fresh water has leeches. No, no. Fresh water only has leeches if it's standing water. No, there's just leeches. Just no. All over that's the not place. true. As someone who has actually had a leech on them, I will tell you that it no. is not just. It's not no. fresh water in general. And it's, it's got, like, bugs that want to burrow in your ear and eat your brain. I'm pretty sure that's scientifically accurate. I, what uh-huh. water have you been hanging around? Also, uh, what science? Also, swamp water. Oh, well, that, well, swamp. <laughs> Florida swamp water. Swamp water. That, is... that might be coloring my opinion swamp about fresh water. water. Yes. Oh, it's full of turtles and uh, alligator gar and snapping turtles and definitely alligators and um, I, probably leeches and I, a bunch of pollutants. I think that might be brackish uh, water. And um, I'm not sure that's considered fresh. No, no, that's all fresh stuff in fresh water by me. Definitely wow. the alligators, the snapping turtles, water moccasins, copperheads, possible leeches, definitely some kind of bug that will eat your brain. I think that must be swamp related. <laughs> because, well, I mean, there are, water mo- there are water moccasins where I grew up. In the wa- water, yeah. Uh, because I once had a interaction. You. <laughs> I had an interaction with one, and it chased me. It, uh, it's one of the one of the ma- many many reasons I don't like snakes. Um, it also tried to, you know, explode my inflatable boat. But yeah, because it's a jerk. <laughs> the water we were we jerks. were in a wooden boat. We were in a putt putt boat, but the snake could swim faster than our boat yeah. could go. <laughs> so we had to run aground and. Run for the hills. I had a lot of inflatable raft boat. Yeah. With, we had a motor with it. I did not. Oh, it was no. a paddle. It, I only had a. I only had pat, paddles. I was. I was paddling that thing <laughs> to get away from that water. <laughs> but on the other hand, you had to have built-in weapon. Was yes. it a good weapon? It was <laughs> a terrible weapon. One? There were also snapping turtles, apparently. Snapping. In that pond. I was more concerned about the snapping turtles than anything I, else. At the time, I was more concerned about the snake coming towards me. <laughs> the, but, the alligators, chill. They're fine. Water moccasins, get on land. They'll leave you alone. Snapping turtles, I don't know. They'll come after you. Oh, yeah. So and yeah. walking catfish. Because fuck you, you belong in the ocean. You belong in the water. Why are you on land? Oh, thank you. Why are you in my any. grass? not have any of that but but there are there is some beautiful freshwater lakes and things in vermont that i grew up with that mm. there were fish and stuff but don't and trust probably them. turtles don't I trust don't, them but there were certainly no alligators or <laughs> yeah no give or, me the ocean or anyway. bugs that wanted to burrow into my brain or i mean <laughs> you do like i mean you do run the risk of sand fleas at the beach there is that uh, yeah, none of this sounds and, good. See, and there I'm, are I'm just gonna manta go, rays and stingrays and gonna, sharks, but mm, mm, I will just, take my I'll take my chances with those. I'm, I'm just gonna go with the fact that yeah, no, I don't want to be in water. Please don't put me in water. So I'm all go water for wants gremlins. to murder you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just go with the gremlin. Don't don't put give me water. What don't. about pools? Mm. <laughs> what about above ground pools? No above ground pools. That's just asking for it. <laughs> and in ground pools full of glass sharks. Yes. Sharks you can't see. Invisible sharks I, you can't mm. see. Just waiting for you to turn I mean, your back. I grew up with 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 an. Ang- I mean, I didn't grow up with one. I wasn't. I wasn't the special. I wasn't a special family person that had a pool in ground pool. My grandparents had an in ground pool, and I will say that I did a 
appreciate visiting to uh, use their pool because it also was an old pool, so it had a diving board. Oh, <laughs> which highly which I, illegal now. Which I have discovered. Yes, that 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 uh, they do not put those in <laughs> in residential <laughs> because pools. too many people died. <laughs> Yeah, but no. I had one. I had we had one. It, that looking back, it was probably a death trap. It's fine. It was most definitely a death <laughs> trap. But I loved it. There is a turkey wandering around outside of our. Speaking of wildlife, why? Oh, there is a turkey. What on earth is going <laughs> on? Welcome back to the Clockwork Cabaret. Chock full of animals that don't deserve to. I feel like don't belong here and only mean us harm. I feel like we need to have a another musical interlude so that we can find out what the hell is going on. With this <laughs> it's turkey. a turkey. Let's play a song and then come back. Do you suffer from the horrendous ailment of omnitism? Oh, it hurts everywhere. So many of us do, having never realized that there is a simple and easy cure. With the introduction of Dr. Phineas T. Norwood's patented omnitism oil, a healing antiseptic liniment, you can be free from crippling omnitism. This amazing new oil can be used both internally and externally, but is best when used in combination. Headache? Phineas can cure that. Gut rot? Phineas can cure that. Bunions, eye strain, toothaches, Phineas can cure all of that. Generalized, non-specific pain, Phineas can cure that too. Right away on a cloud of happiness, using Dr. Phineas T. Norwood's patented omnitism oil. Dr. Phineas T. Norwood's patented omnitism oil, a healing antiseptic liniment. Well, the turkey was fleeting. <laughs> It ran off, but it was very weird. <laughs> it was, and it stayed was, long enough for us to stare at it and be like, that's a turkey, right? That's a tur- I, We saw a turkey? We did. We saw a turkey. It was wild. It, what, yes. It I was, feel like that we should specify a was, random ass wild turkey. Just landed. <laughs> landed outside of our studio. Walking around walked, like it belongs here. Yeah. Walked around for a few minutes. Did a little little dance and a turkey then, trot yeah and then just and then flew away or, or or ran away or ran away we weren't quite i'm i don't know if wild turkeys can fly they can fly oh yeah no they can fly i don't know why that it's upsetting to me but it is. they can sit in trees i well and make horrible horrible noises they're... i mean ducks can be in trees but that doesn't mean they belong up there you hear that, Muscovy ducks? Get the fuck out of the trees. You don't belong up there. No, no, no. Turkeys can fly. Oh. Tur- they they can fly. They're, they are majestic birds. Benjamin Franklin wanted a turkey to be the national bird. I mean, that is true, but I'm not sure the part about them being majestic is true. No, they're not majestic. I mean, they're big <laughs> I was round say, They're kind of infamously stupid. No, domestic turkeys are actually... Uh, I, real turkeys are are wily and weirdly they smart. Can be, you can be wily and still a moron. I mean, I'm, okay. I'm right here. I've survived for going on 44 oh. years. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you out on the radio. <laughs> Just call me out on the radio. I'm wily. Can't pin me down. Doesn't mean I'm smart, because I am not. Uh, that's why we do a radio show, because we're very well, I'm very well suited for this. There's kind of a distance thing happening. Can't actually be in your face. You can't actually touch me. And then you don't have to look at the weird ass faces I make while I'm saying the dumb things that come out of my mouth. Also, you don't get to see how how I have to distract her when she goes off on tangents and throw up pictures of cats. <laughs> it's like, look, here's a cat. Here's a cat. On my phone. Uh, she couldn't do that when we were remote. No, it was I just, hard. I just, I ran ramshot all over. It was terrible. That's not even a word that I had just made up a word. Ramshot? <laughs> Ram, I don't think it's ramshot. I think it's ramshackle. ramshackle. And there's another word that has shod in it. And yes. I just combined you... the two. To make a new Nicole word. Oh, yes. Words. Words are a thing that happens. <laughs> I don't even wow, know. we have been 
not doing this in a long time. No, it's very weird. It's very weird being in in a uh, in an actual space with you right now. A know. physical location where we can both get distracted by a wild turkey. Yes, yeah, which I was not expecting. So that totally threw off my whole my whole rhythm that I had going. 2021 <laughs> continuing to be just an unexpected shit show. Oh. And I'm still getting used to being able to curse. I feel so naughty. I'm like, oh, I'm saying the bad words in front of them and they can't stop me. <laughs> I, I just don't even... It doesn't even... But. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's... It's not really that bad a word. So the curse word. No, it's not. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I know but does. it feels dirty. It just does. feels it feels well, it feels right. Okay. Well that's fine. I'm glad you I'm glad you feel something. <laughs> something anything <laughs> at all. Anything at all. Yes, it's true. Uh, and if you like this thing we do. Which why would you? This Because you have explicitly <laughs> delightful tastes. <laughs> Yes, that is that must be why. That must be exactly why you like this show. If, but if you like it, and if you have stuck through all of the years and all of the <laughs> traumatic adventures and heck, if you have spent any amount of time listening to this show for the last 14 months, I you are uh-huh. a, you are a hero. You are a hero to me because it has been a rough Honestly, <laughs> it's been a rough y- couple years there, and uh, it's been a rough. Yeah, it's just been just it's just been rough. Yeah, so thank we, you. Yeah, thank you, and thank you for sticking with us. Uh, thank you for surviving as best you could through this bullshit. Yes, and if you, and as we said, if you like this thing that we do, you can help support us via via Patreon or coffee or sent putting up reviews on Apple Podcast or wherever it is you listen to our show, whether it's Mixcloud or any... Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts or any yeah, Stitcher uh, or any of those other weird things. I don't know. There, There's a lot of them. If you, if Giving us five stars helps us, other people find the show. It keeps us, like, top of the algorithm, that kind of thing. Yes. And also, if you want to give us a review that simply says... Yes, <laughs> on whatever <gasps> review thing that you want, please do so because it gives us glee. It, it fills, fills us, with... us with so much joy. I yes. have forgotten about the yes reviews. Yes, yeah, yes oh, reviews are my favorite. It I makes me just forgotten. laugh inexplicably and and fills me with such joy that uh, I just can't contain myself. So if you if you can do that, that would be wonderful. We appreciate and it. And if you need to know where any of that information is, just go to agonyauntstudios.com. All of that is on there. Also, any of our other projects that we do are listed up there. Uh, most of them have been kind of put on hold during <laughs> the whole pandemic thing, but uh, we will slowly get back to We're them, hopefully. We're looking to get back into them. And... Uh, if you wanted to follow us on social media, uh, I think I'm at Lady Attercott most places. I'm at I'm at Davenport or Mad Spinstress, depending on where you the look. platform. Yeah, we're both but, on TikTok. We have never made a TikTok. No, I haven't figured out how to do that. I'm I am I have so many ideas of things <laughs> that I want to put on on there, but I have absolutely no actual real energy. And to also, devote you'd have to, to that. Learn how to do it. And I would have to learn how to do that. That's also am... it's a stumbling block yes. for us. I've been playing a lot of video games and realizing that in video games, crafting and learning new things is very easy in a video game, and that I will spend hours doing that. But in real life, I have no interest. You could spend hours in into le- like you could set aside a few hours to learn to ma- do TikTok. I could, but I'm not gonna. That, I mean, fair enough. Yeah, but you could. I know. You I know. I, could. I have faith in you. Instead, I'd rather just, you know, fish in World of Warcraft for I'm, three I'm hours. I'm not gonna make a TikTok. I'm just gonna watch the skinny blonde guy <laughs> that makes old bad recipes and yells about it. It's about where my brain is at. Yeah, fair enough. Yes, he looks like a little Cree serum Captain America from I think the Bermuda, the Bermuda from Bermuda. Oh, and he makes bad 
19, uh, turn of the century recipes and yells about it. Oh, li- and lovely. And that's, that's about my, and, and, and bird videos <laughs> and videos of birds singing I, along to the piano. I have been watching the, the gay Texas <gasps> dad. Oh, he is delightful. Yes. Yes. That basically is inappropriate all over the place. And I love it. <laughs> your favorite yeah. tiktok <laughs> we don't we're old we can't find new things I, we don't know how to look them up we don't know we how re- to vibe we rely we rely on others our younger <laughs> friends to keep us in the loop please oh god don't let us fade into obscurity uh, it's too late <laughs> oh damn it uh if you would like to send us physical tiktok i don't know how that would work physical tiktok if you uh, would like to make a bad pie or a cake from the from the TikTok videos and mail it to us. You can do that too. I would not advise it because it because our 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 postal system is very much screwed up and it and will take forever. God knows what state that pie will or that questionable but you pie can, and or cake. You will be can in. send you can send things to us at uh, Clockwork Cabaret, care of Davenport's Cafe Diem, uh, four thirty nine Hillsboro Street, Pittsboro, North Carolina two seven three one two. Do be aware that that goes to an actual business, so be a little, uh... No you know. giant dildos on the yes. packaging, please. Yes, please, no weird, Keep inappropriate... Keep those on the inside. Yes, please, no inappropriate drawings or anything. <laughs> not that our listeners no. send us inappropriate <laughs> drawings, but it's like, I don't know, no, I'm I just there. started, I just started thinking of, wait, do I really want the weird things coming to my business? Yes, uh, they too. And then I started rethinking it, and now I've... Totally overthought it, and there we go. And here we are. And <laughs> this is why we can't be out with real people anymore. No. We just don't know how to do the the things. No. All right. I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna wrap this up now. This. <laughs> oh, you've missed it. We've before missed I, it. I know. Before we've destroyed any semblance of normalcy. We never had any semblance of normalcy. Don't worry about destroying what we've never had. Uh, it's true. All right. That is true. All right. This has been the Clockwork Cabaret. She is Lady Cup. Mayor, I'm at Davenport. And it's not work we do. It's love. This is Mad Wasp Radio, home of the hits.